Hello, my lovely Aquarians. How is everyone? I hope you guys are all doing amazing. So we are doing your November weekly reading. It is a general reading, so it may not be able to resonate for all of you. And everything that you guys will need to know, whether it's about this reading, scheduling your personals, or Patreon, is all going to be in the description box below for you. So Archangels, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors, please deliver clear messages with a very clear understanding for my lovely Aquarians. Please may the messages that need to be heard the very most please come through. May they please find those who need to hear it. Please show me Aquarius energy, a very clear message with a very clear understanding. All right, loves, let's take a look and see what we've got going on for you. Ace of Pentacles, Knight of Cups in the reverse, Two of Pentacles, Moon card in the reverse. Got the Hermit here. I think there's something being presented to you, but I do feel like you are not sure how you feel about it. Yeah, the Judgment card in the reverse. Got the Fool card here in the Chariot too, so some of you guys may choose to move towards something. I feel like somebody could have been kind of inconsistent in the past, and I feel like maybe you have... You know, maybe you were kind of patient with this person in the past. And maybe you did give them kind of the benefit of the doubt. But I feel like you don't want to waste your time again. Okay, so I, I kind of feel that here. Especially with the Temperance card. Like I said, I feel like you've been patient with this person in the past. But the Seven of Pentacles in the Reverse can talk about something being a waste of time. Or not wanting to waste your time, right? And the Knight of Wands in the Reverse. I feel like if it's not that somebody was inconsistent in the past, it could be that somebody has done something here that has kind of turned you off in a sense, Okay. So I feel like you saw something that you didn't like for some of you as well. So hesitant to like really put yourself out there with this person. But you have the chariot here, the full card. Somebody kind of, somebody could want a new beginning or another chance. Somebody could want to move forward. I feel like you're hesitant. Like I said, I feel like you're afraid to make the wrong decision. The judgment card in the reverse. So I feel like you're doing a lot of a lot of thinking, a lot of reflecting, a lot of inner reflection with that hermit or that hermit energy here. So something's being presented to you, something's being offered to you, Aquarius. But the Knight of Cups in the reverse, that can be a change of mind or a change of heart. I think that you started to change your mind about a person. Like I said, something could have been come clear to you. You could have seen something that turned you off, seen a side to this person that you didn't care for, something like that here. the two of pentacles too i feel like you guys could be going back and forth kind of weighing your options so what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at their energy towards you we're going to clarify it what we need to then we're going to see what you don't see coming and some advice for you guys so show me the person that aquarius is dealing with in this situation what is their energy towards aquarius what is their energy towards aquarius interesting to me you guys have both you guys both have the knight of cups in the reverse in the heart space to me it's feeling like somebody reckon or somebody is seeing that you've changed your mind about them that you don't quite feel the same way that you once did or that you're not as interested or open to them as you once were somebody could be very controlling um as well that could be something that is could be turning you off as you're seeing a kind of like a controlling kind of maybe like a controlling domineering possessive kind of a side to somebody somebody could have a really bad temper as well you could have seen something like that for some of you but i feel like they're trying to keep like they're trying to get control over the situation you got the ace of wands here with the seven of swords in the reverse so somebody is reaching out and apologizing to you okay somebody's apologizing to you that's what they're sending out here and they are pretty hopeful they are pretty hopeful with that three of wands. They do want to spark things back up. They want another chance. Now they know that you've already kind of changed your mind. Or you're, you know, that you're not quite seeing them the same way. They see that here. The four of wands. You know, that's reaching a goal, a finish line, an accomplishment. You know, the emperor and the four of wands. Some of you guys could be dealing with an Aries. You don't have to be though. You also have Virgo here, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio here, Capricorn here. Taurus as well. Those are the signs that I'm seeing right now, but they could be any sign. I do feel like with somebody's action, somebody does want to come out of the cold. So I feel like somebody's goal is to reconnect with you here. That's what somebody is desiring. But they know that, you know, they know that they messed up here. They know that you're seeing some, you're seeing them some type of way. Tell me about this hermit energy. The tower in the reverse. Yeah, somebody's trying to like either rebuild or keep this together 
you're definitely getting communication. And I feel like that's what you're reflecting on. Like, is this something I really want to invest again into again? Do I really want to put more into this? Do I want to open myself back up to this? Tell me about this Ace of Pentacles. Oh, yeah, I got the Three of Cups here. So somebody could want to reconcile the Judgment card. You're trying to make a decision on this. Could be Scorpio or Cancer here with that energy. Tell me about the Knight of Cups in the reverse. The Justice card. The Seven of Cups in the reverse. So I feel like somebody's trying to make something up to you, but you kind of do feel like intuitively, I feel like you guys are trying to trust your intuition because intuitively you do kind of feel like even though somebody's trying to make it up to you, you kind of feel uneasy about it. And you're afraid of making the wrong decision. Tell me about this Two of Pentacles. The Six of Cups in the reverse. For some of you guys, this could really remind you of somebody that you've dealt with in the past, right? It could be like, oh, wow, this reminded me of that toxic ex I dealt with. Or this reminded me of this person, you know, that or this situation. I kind of get that for some of you guys with that Six of Cups in the reverse. It's like, you're not sure if you want to go back to that. Um, or things could have got a little toxic with this person. You're like, I'm not sure if I want to go back to that. Yeah, I see that you're trying to make this right to me. I think you're trying to make it up to me. But I'm still not sure if I want to go back to that. You can see this person as somebody who's kind of manipulative or somebody who's used to getting their way. Tell me about the moon card in the reverse. The nine of wands and the queen of cups in the reverse. This person could be very emotionally manipulative as well um, or very hurtful with their words. Um, they could put you down emotionally. Like I said, I feel like somebody could be emotionally manipulative or a little bit controlling. Tell me about this emperor energy clarified by the emperor so they are really heavy in the energy this is somebody who is used to getting their way tell me about the knight of cups in the reverse the king of swords in the reverse i still feel like they're not being totally honest with you um that could be what turns you off here for some of you guys like i said for some of you guys i feel like you saw a different side of them some of you guys that could have been being they could have been be, being very nasty with your with their words for others of you the king of swords in the reverse can be a little bit of a um like a deceptive energy. So like speaking in half truths, not being honest, you know, that kind of a thing. Withholding information. You could have found out about some secrets, especially with the moon card in reverse. So I'm getting a lot of different messages. Just take the ones that apply for you, for you. Tell me about this four of wands. The queen of wands and the reverse. I feel like they don't want to see you with anybody else. I feel like this person is very attracted to you. But I do feel like this person could be a little bit possessive or manipulative. Like I said, yeah, the devil. It is showing up a little bit toxic. I feel like they don't want to see you move on. That is one of the things that is kind of driving this person. Tell me about this five of pentacles in the reverse. The three of pentacles. So I feel like a lot has been put on display about this person. Whether that's secrets coming out, whether that's this person's, whether that's dishonesties that are coming out now, or whether it's something about this person and their behavior or, you know, their, um, some of their attributes or characteristics. I think a lot's been put on display and I feel like it, I think you guys are absolutely right for being skeptical and cautious about this person. So I do feel like this person is going to continue to try to come out of the cold. And they are a person who is kind of used to getting their way. They definitely want to spark things back up. So let's go ahead and see what you don't see coming and then get some advice for you guys. Because this week I don't even see you making a decision. I feel like you guys are trying to figure things out. But I do feel like if you guys are getting intuitive messages about this, if you're feeling uneasy, you really need to trust that. Okay. So what doesn't Aquarius see coming? We have the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. And the three of wands in the reverse. I feel like if the I feel like this person could lose their temper a little bit. You're gonna see more of a side to this person if you take too long to respond to them. Um, because that three of wands in the reverse, I feel like there's something there's like a lot that they're like holding back or pushing back, but by you taking too long to make a decision or to give them your way, I think you're gonna see a lot from this person. So I would be cautious with that energy. Now, what advice do we have? What advice do we have? got the hangman so take a moment to to reflect you know the hangman does he's he hangs himself he's stuck here but he's hung himself there on purpose from the tree of wisdom so that he can gain a new perspective so he can gain the knowledge and the clarity that he needs so take a moment to really think things through and really like get in touch with your in your inner wisdom with your intuition okay but that is what i have for you guys if this resonates let me know in the comments down below if it doesn't then just go ahead and check out your other placements everything that you'll need to know whether it's about this reading scheduling your personals or patreon it's all in the description box below for you if you like the way that i read please like share and subscribe but most importantly if you want personal prayers for any reason you guys can just put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below and i will go through and pray for you 
So I'm sending so much love and light until next time.